full information about peacock gudgeons. The peacock gudgeon or peacock goby is a tropical freshwater species of fish in the family Eleatridae that is endemic to the eastern part of Papua New Guinea. It can be found in schools hovering over the substrate in rivers and ponds. The peacock gudgeon is an incredibly beautiful and unique freshwater fish that all aquarists should consider. This review on peacock gudgeon will teach you everything you need to know if you want to own this fish yourself. Number 1. Species Summary The peacock gudgeon is a vibrant freshwater fish that's endemic to shallow bodies of water in Papua New Guinea, they're also found throughout New Zealand and Australia. This fish makes an excellent addition to any community tank, though, they require some special attention to ensure that they stay healthy, vibrant, and stress-free. Number 2 Lifespan. In good conditions, the average peacock gudgeon lifespan is between 4 and 5 years in captivity. Number 3. Appearance. They have vibrant colors that stand out against natural aquascaping, making them a good choice for any tank ecosystem. These fish have long and slender bodies, their heads are rounded, adult males can even develop a nuchal hump on the forehead, making that round shape even more pronounced. The body is typically covered in a silvery blue shade, the belly of these fish tends to take on a subtle yellow hue, this beautiful base color is complemented by lateral dotted stripes of red. These dotted stripes run vertically along the entire length of the fish, the same silver blue and red coloration continue on the fins. All of the peacock goby's fins have a thick edge of bright yellow, female specimens also have a thinner strip of black on top of the yellow portion of the fins. Number 4, Size. The average size for a peacock gudgeon is about 3 inches long. Females usually only reach lengths of approximately 2 and a half inches. Number 5. Peacock Gudgeon Care. These fish need carefully crafted environments and stable water conditions to stay healthy. Here are some important care tips to follow. First tip. Tank size. The minimum tank size we recommend is 15 gallons. That's suitable for a small group of peacock gudgeons. Second tip, water parameters. Peacock gudgeons are usually found in still ponds or very slow moving streams. Those bodies of water are filled with vegetation and are pretty warm. The best way to keep peacock gudgeons healthy in captivity is replicate those natural habitats as much as possible. The following water parameters are ideal for these fish. Water temperature, 72 degrees Fahrenheit to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. pH levels, 6.0 to 7.8. Around 7.0 is best. Water hardness, 5 to 12 dKH. Third tip, potential diseases. Peacock gudgeons are at risk for a range of diseases. One common issue is ick. It's caused by an ectoparasite called Ichthyophthyreus multifolies. Freshwater fish will succumb to the parasite when stressed. So, it's important to monitor water conditions regularly and keep the tank in good shape to avoid it. Ick is highly infected, you can treat the issue with copper-based medicines. A couple of ailments affect peacock gudgeon's head. The first thing to be wary of is whole, in, head disease. This condition usually affects larger fish-like cichlids, however, it can affect peacock gudgeons, too. This disease is transmitted via feces. Typically, it occurs due to poor water conditions and results in sores and visible pits on the head. 
earthworms and parasitic infections are common as well. Anchor worms can latch onto a fish's head any body, most often, fish will try to scratch the worms off by rubbing against decorations. The same goes for skin and gill flukes. Tiny worms will latch onto fish, creating a small lesion. Fluke attacks can be quite dangerous. While small infestations aren't a huge deal, but larger ones can easily kill peacock gudgeons. Luckily, they can usually be treated with antifungal and antibacterial medicines. Fourth tip, tank mates. There are plenty of peacock gudgeon tank mates you can choose from. Aside from other fish of the same species, these fish fare pretty well with almost all other peaceful fish. You can keep them in community tanks as long as there are no major aggressors, it is possible to keep somewhat territorial fish in the same tank. Though, you need to make sure that those fish are not big enough to eat the peacock gudgeons. It's also important to stick with a larger tank so that any territorial fish can have their own space. Here are some good tank mates for the peacock gudgeons. Cory Catfish Ember Tetra, or other tetras Bumblebee Gobi Celestial Pearl Danios Cherry Barb Next video we review about Common Roof